Today let's talk about the properties and advantages of a low voltage lighting system in combination with highly developed optics. All the classic data lights and also a number of the dedicated data light soft lights work as a low voltage system based on 12 volt or 24 volt supply. This means that you cannot plug these lights directly into the wall. You need an electronic ballast to make them work from an AC power supply. Now the first opinion would be that this must make these lights very expensive and more cumbersome to run. Let's look at it in a little bit more detail. First, the type of low voltage lamps that we're using in the classic data light fixtures and in some of our dedicated soft lights provide extraordinary high light output. A standard halogen high voltage lamp will produce approximately 20 lumen per watt. The data light low voltage lamps give us 40 lumen per watt. That's double the light output already from the lamp, resulting in lower power consumption, less heat, less secondary cost for cooling, and drastically reduced operating cost. Why? These lamps, compared to the lamps of similar output in high voltage, cost only about 25%. So you save 75% in the purchase cost of each lamp. At the same time, the average lifetime of these low voltage lamps by far exceed the lifetime of the high voltage halogen lamps used in professional instruments. The data light lamps may live four to five times as long as the equivalent high voltage lamps and together this provides a very substantial multiplication of economical savings. Another possibly serious advantage of the low voltage system is that you can drive it directly from a battery. Imagine shooting a documentary under extreme expedition conditions where often you will be grateful for the extreme performance and output of the smallest package and at other times you may need only very little light and then you can use the opportunity to lamp down. Go to the 12 volt where you can use lamps with 100 watt, 75, 50, 35 or even 20 watt and then from the capacity of one only battery you may be able to operate several lights for a long period. The one aspect you have to consider though is that many of the professional camera batteries are no longer 12 volt batteries. Many of them run at 14.4 volt and when they're freshly charged they may even give you up to 17 volt. All halogen lamps, even ours, are very much susceptible to over voltage. In that case you use our tiny little inline dimmer which you can switch from 12 volt to 24 volt operation and this limits the maximum voltage to the lamp to 11.5 or 23.5 volt, thus saving the lamp from the hazards of over voltage. At the same time, this inline dimmer runs at high frequency and therefore when you dim it halfway down, you only use half the energy and you double the runtime of your battery. Alternatively, of course, you can run data lights from a cigarette lighter output of a car or many other DC or AC power sources. Pretty nifty, isn't it? When such lamps are working with a very sophisticated optics like in the data light system, these will work much better when it's the smallest possible light source and that provides better results, higher efficiency, higher focusing range, higher control and above all the clean beam concept with perfectly even light distribution but no stray light 
outside the beam. But then again, having to use an electronic device to light up these lamps must make them somewhat expensive to purchase. So let us compare the data light with the electronic ballast incorporated with a traditional studio Fresnel light which offers lower performance. Regarding the original purchase price, yes, the data light is 25% more expensive than the somewhat comparable studio Fresnel light. The data light can dim, the other light cannot. We can also compare the same traditional studio Fresnel with a classic data light DLH4 light in combination with the inline ballast, which can be switched to provide 3400 Kelvin, pretty cool color temperature for studio conditions, or 3200 Kelvin, which is kind of a standard, or can be dimmed continuously all the way down. The data light puts out more light. The data light has a much cleaner light distribution within the beam. And outside the beam, data light has no stray light. Again, our clean beam concept. Data light also offers the advantage of optionally adding an aspherical wide angle attachment or our imagers, the projection attachment. Thus, data light offers unprecedented control accessories for the highest precision in professional lighting. Let's talk about the cost again. After you change the lamp inside the data light nine times, you've already recuperated considerable money above the buying cost. By the time you change the lamp 49 times, you've already saved enough money to buy another complete data light and you still have some extra. Many professionals are not always aware of the operational cost, the costs of relamping, and those are multiple times higher than the original purchase price. Amazingly enough, the very same people may be thinking seriously about using a car with lower gas consumption and higher mileage. And many of us are seriously concerned about going green and the ecology. The calculation we've looked at so far consider lights which are quietly and peacefully hanging in a studio. But some of us have to use the lights in mobile application. Set up, breakdown, travel. This is where the high voltage halogen lamps may not survive since they are subject to early death by shock and vibration. The data light is amazingly resilient towards such influences and will continue to perform even under the most extreme duress. Kick it, drop it, even leave it in the hands of airline baggage handlers and it will survive and continue to perform. That is not all that we can tell you about the characteristics of data light. So keep watching out for our other videos.